You may make up to $900 or more per day with these four untold side hustles, which need essentially no expertise in which no one is talking about. Simply pick one of these strategies and then put it into practice. And the last one is one that not many people are doing, so be sure to stick around for that. Artificial intelligence has arrived and it's here to stay. In fact, it's only growing and most people aren't even aware of its existence. Not yet, at least. OpenAI is this new cutting edge AI that relatively very few people are using, which is exactly why you need to start using it now. And I think if you're making less than 100 grand per year, you'd be a fool to click off of this video. I promise I'll make it worth it and I'll try to make it very short. So the first thing you're gonna do is open an OpenAI account. It's completely free to do. So people have already started using OpenAI's chat GPT function to build businesses, write copy, build websites, write code, and much, much more. But what I've noticed is that very few people are talking about or using OpenAI's Dolly 2 function. So today, I'm excited to share that it is possible to create AI-generated art and earn money through it. Using AI image generators, simply input desired words and let the technology create the artwork. No need to draw or paint yourself, and no need to spend lots of money on hiring an artist. And the best part is that you can even make money from the art you create using these generators. Yes, it's totally legal to earn money from AI generated art. So here is the Dolly 2, one of my favorite AI generators that can create stunning artwork at the touch of a button. Using this tool is easy. Just head to the search bar and type in what you want Dolly 2 to create for you. Don't forget to specify the art style you prefer as well. In just a few moments, Dolly 2 will present you with four options to choose from. But that's not all. Once you've selected your favorite image, you can use the available tools to create variations of it. This is especially helpful if you want to expand upon the original image. So let's say, for example, that you generated an AI image of a golden retriever face, but you wanted to expand on the golden retriever and make the picture even bigger to show more of the dog. Well, Dolly 2 has a handy expander tool that allows you to do just that. Now, when I first discovered Dolly 2, I had three thoughts. As soon as I saw this tool, I knew it had the potential to make a lot of people very wealthy. I mean, seriously, I'm excited for me. Think about it. With Dolly, you can create this kind of artwork that you would normally have to pay hundreds or even thousands of dollars for an artist to create. And I'll show you some examples of that in a bit. The second thing I thought about was legal issues. If I create something using Dolly and try to sell it, will I get slapped with a lawsuit? Thankfully, the answer is no. According to the terms of service, you get full rights to the artwork you create, including commercial rights. However, Dolly does retain the right to use the artwork in order to keep their service running. This seems pretty fair to me. The third thing I thought about was cost. With such powerful technology, I assumed it would be expensive to use, but I was pleasantly surprised to find that it's completely free. When you first sign up, you get 50 free image searches, and then each month you get an additional 15 for free. I even tested it out by creating multiple accounts and was able to get multiple free free image searches each month. Dolly didn't stop me and I couldn't find anything in the terms of service against it either. So to sum up, Dolly is incredibly powerful, legal to use, and completely free. But the real question is, can it actually help you make money? The answer is yes, and I'll show you how. I'll give you two examples of people selling artwork on Etsy and making a profit, and then I'll demonstrate how Dolly can be used to create similar or even better images. Let's get started with this store here. This store is selling its art as a digital file, which means that when you purchase one of their posters, you'll receive an image file via email that you can then print out and make into a poster at home. Digital products like this are very popular on Etsy and tend to sell really well. In fact, according to the Allure Etsy research app, this store is estimated to have made this much money. One of the benefits of selling digital products is that a large portion of the money made is profit, as there is no physical goods to produce and ship. Allure is also a useful tool for researching the top selling products for a store. If we look at the top sellers for this particular store, we can see a pattern emerge. Many of the posters feature a black and white photo of an animal in a hand-drawn style with a color colorful accessory like glasses on a white background. This image style is actually quite popular for posters on Etsy, with many stores selling variations of it. Customers seem to love printing these out and hanging them as posters, especially in nurseries. Given this information, it's probably easy to guess what I'm going to do next. Use Dolly to create similar images. Let's see what we can come up with. So let's take a look at the second best selling product in that store, a poster of a curious cat wearing glasses. Could we have come up with this idea ourselves and created a similar image using Dolly? 
Let's find out. I went back to Dolly and searched for a detailed pencil black and white drawing of a curious cat wearing light pink glasses on a white background. The results were impressive. Out of the four options, I particularly liked this one and used the available tools to generate more versions of it. And honestly, these images are just as good as the ones being sold as posters on Etsy. But you may have noticed something earlier. When I was looking at other black and white animal posters, some of them used photos instead of drawings of animals. Well, Dolly can create photos too. Just search for the type of photo you want and Dolly will generate it for you. For example, I searched for a black and white photo of a lion's head and Dolly created it for me. So there you have it. One way to use Dolly to make money is by generating pictures for digital products like the ones being sold on Etsy. But there's another way you can use Dolly to make money, by creating pictures that you can print onto automated physical products. For instance, take a look at this Etsy store. They sell historical public domain artwork that they print onto posters for their customers. According to Allure, this store has made this much money in the past Past month. That's over $300 per day from this one account. It's clear that there is a lot of money to be made with this kind of art. While monthly revenue is interesting, it's also helpful to take a look at the lifetime revenue of a store. This is because many stores tend to make a large portion of their money during the holiday season. When we look at the lifetime revenue of this store, Allure estimates that it's made over $1.1 million. But which of their historical public domain art pieces are making them the most money? If we take a look at their top sellers, we can see that a particular art genre is dominating. Ukiyo-e, a Japanese art style that was popular in the 17th and 19th centuries. Today, not many artists paint in this style, which is why historical art pieces in this genre are still in demand. For example, a frog art painting in this style has reportedly made the store over $2,000 in the past month, according to Allure. Another example is the Fuji from Tago Bay piece, which is estimated to have made the store over $500 from print sales. This is just one store that is making money from selling paintings in this style. Many Etsy stores are doing the same. The issue is that this art style is not as popular as it used to be, so there aren't many new paintings in this style. Most of the paintings being sold are old ones. This presents an opportunity for those who want to make money from selling art. Create new paintings in this style using Dolly and sell them on Etsy. It would be very expensive to hire artists to create pictures in this rare art genre, but it's completely free to use Dolly to do it. Dolly has been trained by scanning the best historical masters in this genre, so it's able to create stunning images within seconds. This opens up a lot of opportunities to cross niche. Think about it. Previously, if you wanted to sell posters in this genre, you had to sell the same old paintings featuring imagery of Japan from the 17th to 19th centuries. But now, you can use Dolly to create a picture of a cup of coffee in this art style and sell it to baristas who love Japanese imagery. To do this, simply register for a free print-on-demand app like Printify, which connects to major e-commerce platforms like Etsy and Shopify. Choose a blank item like a poster from their catalog, upload your Dolly-generated art onto it, and list it for sale. When someone buys your product through Printify, they'll handle the printing, packaging, and shipping while you keep the profit. Print-on-demand products can be more profitable than digital products. However, there is one limitation to keep in mind, image resolution. When you download a picture from Dolly, the image is small. This might not be a problem if you're only selling small products like laptop stickers, as I've tested and found that you can upload a Dolly-generated artwork to Printify and print it at a high resolution, 300 DPI, on small products. But if you want to sell bigger products like posters, the image resolution won't be sufficient. Luckily though, you can fix this limitation with, you guessed it, AI. If you need to increase the size and resolution of a picture, AI Image Enlarger can help. This website uses AI to increase the resolution and size of a picture without losing image quality. Simply create an account, upload a picture created by Dolly, and the website will increase its size. There is a free plan and a paid plan. The free plan has a monthly image limit, but it can increase the size of your image by up to 400%. The paid $9 a month plan lets you increase image sizes by up to 800%, which is high enough resolution to print at 300 DPI on posters. On average, Americans throw away about 5 pounds of trash per person per day. While garbage trucks pick up the trash, they can't always remove all of it, which can attract pests like cockroaches, ants, rats, possums, and other rodents. That's where you come in. Believe it or not, many people are willing to pay good money to have their trash cans pressure washed on a regular basis. I recently saw a flyer advertising this service and was surprised by the price is being charged for such a simple task. But people were excited about this service and eager to pay good money for it. If you're looking for a way to earn some extra cash, this could be a good option to consider. You don't require
require an expensive commercial pressure washer if you want to start your own garbage can cleaning business. A simple battery-powered pressure washer will do the job just fine. Just make sure it has a soap attachment so you can apply soap to the trash cans before pressure washing them. You can buy a solution from a hardware store or Amazon or mix up watered down solution of Dawn dish soap. You can also use a separate sprayer, which can be purchased at Walmart or a hardware store. With these tools, you're ready to get started on your new cleaning business. So the next thing you'll need to do is get the word out about your business and bring in some new customers. One great way to do this is by utilizing social media and posting in local groups on Facebook, Nextdoor, or even Craigslist. These platforms are completely free to use and can be a fantastic way to promote your business. But if you really want to take things to the next level, consider creating physical door hangers or flyers. These are super easy to design and can be purchased in bulk at an affordable price on sites like Vistaprint. For example, you can purchase 1,000 flyers for as low as 11 cents each, as you can see right here. Or if you want to start small, you can even get 50 for around 80 cents each. The more you buy, the better the deal. When it comes to the design of your flyer, keep Keep it simple and straightforward. As the overall cost of starting up your business, don't worry about breaking the bank. With a pressure washer and some flyers, you can get started for as little as $100 to $300. Now let's talk about the earning potential of this side hustle. I've seen some people charge around $65 for one-time cleanings and $35 for monthly cleanings, with an extra $10 per added trash can. Just imagine, if you were able to clean four trash cans per hour for eight hours straight, that's 32 cans at $35 per can. That's over $1,100 in just one day. Or if you only work a couple of hours, you could still easily make hundreds of dollars. This side hustle is easy and affordable to start, requires no special skills, and has the potential to bring in some serious cash since tons of people would pay money for this. The next side business is incredibly original and to my knowledge, there is nothing else like it. This is really saying a lot, but this might actually be the easiest way to make money online with very minimal effort. Do you love shopping on Amazon? Have you ever thought about getting paid for it? Believe it or not, there's a way to make money online with minimal effort by creating product review videos on Amazon. When you're browsing the site, you may come across a product, check out the image, price, and description, and even read the reviews. But have you ever watched a video review of the product? Here's something remarkable that, aside from the few individuals who are creating these movies, virtually no one else considers. These creators are getting paid to make these videos. Here's how it works. When someone watches at least 30 seconds of one of these videos and then buys the product or a similar product on Amazon, the creator receives a commission from the site. So you've really got to think about this for a second. This Apple Watch has close to 16,000 reviews. It's clear that this watch is popular. But here's the thing. We know that only a small percentage of people who buy a product end up leaving a review. So it's likely that this watch has been purchased hundreds of thousands of times. That's a lot of happy customers. And I would imagine that out of those hundreds of thousands of sales, quite a few people are looking at the video reviews of the product before actually making their purchase. But here's the crazy part. Despite all those sales, if you look here, there are zero video reviews of this watch. That means if you were to make a video review of this product, you would be one of the only ones out there. So there's basically zero competition. And the best part, there are likely tens or even hundreds of thousands of products like this one that either have very few or no video reviews at all. So imagine if you made a video review of this product. We know that Amazon pays a commission rate of 2% on electronics. That may not sound like a lot, but it can add up fast. Just imagine if you had a video review for a product that was viewed by 5,000 out of a 100,000 buyers. That's $16,000 just from one product. And that's just the beginning. Imagine if you had video reviews for 10, 20, or even 100 different products. The earning potential is endless. Plus, these reviews don't have to be elaborate. Most people just film them on their phones. The only catch is you'd have to buy the product first, but hey, you can always return it after you review it. Don't miss out on this opportunity to make easy money on Amazon. You just have to take the leap and start taking action. What if I told you you could start a successful Etsy shop and take it to the next level and start making six figures. Well, it starts on AliExpress. AliExpress is a Chinese online retail store that offers heavily discounted products that can be resold for a higher price on other websites like Amazon and Etsy. For example, this cloth book for children only costs a dollar and four cents on AliExpress, but it could easily be sold for 20 times that amount on Amazon or Etsy. In fact, this product on Amazon is the exact same one as the one on AliExpress. 
How do I know? Well, because the Amazon product is even using the exact same images from AliExpress. This means someone is buying this book for $1.04 on AliExpress and reselling it for $18 on Amazon. According to my calculations, each sale from this item brings in around $17 in revenue. And we know this is selling well with almost 500 reviews in the coveted Amazon Choice label. It's clear that this seller is raking in six figures annually from this one product alone. But how do you find these money-making products on AliExpress? It's simple. Start by deciding which platform you want to sell on, whether it be Etsy or Amazon or both. From there, do some research to figure out what products are selling well on your chosen platform. For example, on Amazon, you can check out the top selling products in each category to see what's hot. While it's true that certain products may be considered top sellers, don't limit yourself to just those options. There are thousands of other products out there that may not technically be classified as top sellers, but are still racking up tens of thousands of sales and earning sellers well over six figures per year. No matter which platform you're selling on, whether it's Etsy or Amazon or both, it's important to do your research and browse through various product categories to see what's selling well. You'll be able to quickly determine which products are popular and which aren't. For example, I searched for CD players knowing that it was a random and unpopular product. So as you can see, if I scroll through these products on Etsy, I'm specifically looking at the number of reviews these products have on average. All of these products have a really small number of reviews. If a product has a small number of reviews, it is not selling well. You can also use tools like Google Trends to see if there's a demand for a particular product. For example, if I search for CD player on Google Trends, you can see that there hasn't been much interest in this product over the past few decades. On the other hand, if you search for something like blank books, you'll likely find that this product is extremely popular, with many sellers boasting thousands of reviews and high sales numbers. I mean, this seller here alone has over 128,000 sales. If you search blank book on Google Trends, you'll see that this product has consistently been popular over the past two decades, typically ranking between 25 and 60 in terms of search interest. And if we use blank books as an example, which is just one option by the way, you can easily find them on AliExpress at a super cheap price. Once you've found your product, it's just a matter of setting up your Etsy shop and learning how to optimize your listings with SEO and great product images. You might also consider investing in some pay-per-click ads to attract more customers and increase your earnings. There are literally thousands of different ways you can make money online, and knowing which ones have less competition is a massive advantage for you. So all you have to do is just choose one and go all in. And an important step in building income for yourself is starting to establish passive income streams. So click here to watch this video that will show you 10 different ways to make passive income with $1,000. You are all amazing and I want to see success from each one of you. There is so much money out there to be made and there is more than enough for all of you to have a piece of that online income pie.